Ones can be pretty disheartening. Yeah, just ask Janair. Well, guys, go to OGN.Azubu.TV and vote for your favorite Super Play of the week. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of them this week. A lot of really good ones. I find it very interesting that CJ bans Victor when Coco is a known Victor player. Callista doesn't want to play it. Will not be handed over to CJ. GE will take that one out of the pool once again. They will have to ban Rek'Sai, so the Maokai may come through. And Lissandra, ooh, Lissandra ban. That is surprising. That is surprising because you know that that actually is a champion that GE isn't necessarily the most comfortable on. And you're basically just giving them a bunch of their old power picks back. Lulu taken out this time by the GE Tigers. Don't want that first pick going over to Shy. Will they get the Rek'Sai up is the question. I wonder. I wonder. LeBlanc also certainly a cause for concern if they're not willing to first pick that. You know, do they ban it to keep it away from Kuro? Rumble. Rumble, okay. Oh. So is it going to be Rek'Sai? CJ will have Maokai available to first pick. They will have an Annie available again, and it will be Rek'Sai, so Maokai. Okay. Or Darius. No, it's Maokai. It's got to be Maokai. Yep. <laughs> not the Darius, oh well. So CJ has a chance to get that Annie here as well. Yeah. Should they want it, GE really placed a high emphasis on the Sivir in the last game. Ray. What do you think? Jarvin well, it looks Sivir. like Jarvin Sivir. That's All right. Yeah, makes sense. They've decided that Sivir is going to be the priority. Ray did okay with it in the last game. Uh, and there's a especially one. during the late game team fights, he actually had some of those key moments of ricocheting multiple members of CJ Entis. You know, if you're gonna take LeBlanc in the second round, I suppose you do ban the Lissandra, right? Because that is something that Kuro can conceivably take to mid lane and make LeBlanc's uh, life pretty pretty miserable. I wonder what Kuro's answer to this is going to be. We've seen yeah. his Victor banned out. He's not really been a Lissandra player, but now that he can't get the LeBlanc, uh, he may try and play passively with Ezreal. But it's not going to be a great double AD with the Sivir instead of the Corky. Taking the Victor away, too, really limits Kuro's options. Yeah, with Cassidy nerf, this is. Yeah. Kuro's champion pool hasn't looked the largest, and we haven't seen a new champion yet tonight, just opting to fall back on the old LeBlanc pickup, which he did work on, so. Played extremely well, yeah. So Ambition will be taking that Nidalee again to the jungle. We'll see if he's able to bring the same aggression with it that we saw on Wednesday. So what does Kuro do here? Yeah. I think he waits for the last pick. Whoa, Scion and Morgana. They lied to us, Doa. They said Scion was disabled. I guess it's not. <laughs> Surprise. We were lied to. We got the email. We can show it to you. We're not going to, but we got one. Interesting. Morgana right here. And Smeb? He's like, can they pick Scion? He's like, okay, sure. All right, well, Mad Life played uh, very, very well on that Nami last game. One of his better games in quite a while, and looks like they're not afraid to go with that Kog'Maw again, but I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit dangerous. What do you think? Yeah, they don't have the same amount of peel for the Kog'Maw in this game that they had last time. Uh, trying to psych up spaces. Like, you can do it. You can be the Kog'Maw. Channel your in. inner <laughs> void monster. Yep. Space is like, well, I am kind of hungry. Kog'Maw's kind of hungry. Wow, so. Whoa, Kennen! Just straight up locked in. It's gonna be a support Morgana. Mid Kennen for Kuro. And a wow. top Morgana, GE. Well, what is this, this? Is, this is actually a really good composition against what GE is trying to throw at them. They don't, I mean, if Kennen can get in there with the Sivir, they can really do some work right now. Yeah. Uh, is this, yeah, support Morgana, they will swap over. Oh, what else would it be, support Kennen? Support Scion. Support Scion? That's actually not too terrible. I'm not joking, it's not that bad. Well, you do have a, <laughs> you do have a stun. You have a knockup, I suppose. Oh, two seconds left. One, and it's a mid Scion. Uh, okay. Hey, Messiah, is that you? I, I do not know what's going on anymore, guys. Top well, Ken and I understand. Mid Scion, I, mean, I don't understand. He does have a big shield to deal with LeBlanc Harass. Uh, the Kennen is a lane bully against Maokai. It's a winning matchup for Kennen. Yeah. And 
what will Kuro be doing? Well, I'm glad we're seeing something new from the GE Tigers. Not really sure about this one. We certainly are. It's a mid scion. It's a support Morgana. That's not so strange. This it's is a, one of our only a, cannons. This is a really low damage composition. Is the issue? Yeah, it is. And yeah, that's as if. Sivir is a high damage AD carry in the late game, but you have to make sure that you get one million autos. Now they do have a, lot, a lot of, of autos. they have a lot of crowd control to get the Sivir ricochets off. So it's going to really depend on Prey. Can he find those timings of the team fights well, with we'll the, see. the Kennen stuns and the Scion stuns to get in there? You had a lot to analyze there. Well, this is yeah. an interesting game all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. How about this? GE Tigers versus CJ Entis, and that is a mid Scion played by Kuro. You're not, you haven't tuned into, uh, I don't know who else runs mid Scion. I guess LPL? They run everything, so I'll just they, say LPL. They used to. I mean, this was talking like a year and a half ago. When, well, you said Messiah, so. Yeah. yeah, when he was on WE, and they used to run. That was before Scion's rework, though. That was a long time ago. <laughs> He used to basically just buy boots and mobility and run into the side lanes and just point and click stun people. It was actually pretty terrible, but <laughs> they still did it a lot. Uh -huh. mm. So really bizarre situation right here. Kuro apparently thinks he has the answer to LeBlanc. And you know what? He can make plays on the side lane if CJ pushes forward. He's <laughs> trying to just run behind you. It's pretty scary. It's true. But this is, there's so much pressure on Prey in this game. Fortunately for him, he's got a black shield. He has he has two spell shields to get through mm. before they can deal it. But Prey is going to deal like most of the damage in these team fights. Fortunately for him, he's also Prey and his positioning yeah, has and he been has, incredible. This he season. has a lot of crowd control to work behind here, right? Yeah. So between Morgana, Scion, Jarvan, and Kennen, all of which have AOE CC, maybe, just maybe, he can make do some short work on the CJ. Great engage from GE. I am going to be incredibly entertained to see how well Prey does this game because it really does rely on his ability to auto. So, interesting times. Weird composition, but there is a logic to it. There is a logic to this comp. Now, how well Prey or how well Kuro can play Scion, I have no idea. Now, we saw Ambition put a couple traps down by his blue buff before they moved down to red. Did he kind of just give up on taking blue because Meb was coming in because of that invade? Uh, could have been. I didn't actually see that right away. I'd have to review that. He just had two traps and then they went yeah. to red. So I, I don't know. I, I think the lane swap definitely in the favor right now for CJ. Of course, you really don't want that cannon versus Maokai matchup early on. The Doran's Blade cannon really does harass Maokai very heavily. Yeah. So, the jungle follow. Moving on through. And this means Kuro can't get ganked, even though he is relatively immobile, especially early on. And he thinks he can harass with that E onto the LeBlanc. LeBlanc really isn't going to be able to do anything to him. If we notice Kuro started out with 39 MR, has 43 now. So, it's a lot of tankiness to get through, especially with the shield. Oops. Missed a cannon minion there. Oops. Got to charge it longer to get the whole range, Kuro. I know you haven't played a lot of Scion mid, but trying to help you out. I'm sure he appreciates it. Ooh, GE Tigers with a very early dragon at 3.30. To the end of the bot side. Yeah. For Malcon. Interesting. Yeah, no defense either. Really, unfortunately for CJ, they ended up on the wrong side. There's an all-in going on in the mid lane, though. Yeah, that's right. They're trying to uh, go in on Kuro. Kuro getting very, very low. Flashes back under turret. Will it be enough? It will. First blood. Going to Coco already. That Ignite helping him out. Kuro's just going to get a bit more farm before uh, going back to base. And right there, if you know they're not disrupting you at Dragon, that probably means they're on the top side of the map. So yeah. Kuro really just needed to play back and play safely under those circumstances in order to make sure that he didn't die and they could take the Dragon. Instead, he gets caught out a little bit too far forward, and he has no mobility early on. Just an ambition in Coco able to get those dashes in and make the necessary plays. we will try and take out this pink ward right now. That looks like he'll get it. Yeah, a bit of a waste. Yeah, space just trying to freeze the lane up in top, it looks like. Well, this might be a sad day for mid-Zion, though. Yeah, 
I'm just surprised it's a day for Mid Scion at all. <laughs> That's the shocking part to me. It's the Messiah tribute game. I guess so. Although that was the more disappointing part of Messiah's <laughs> career. Not the one we not the part we like to remember, actually. Not the not the really good Messiah. <laughs> oh Kuro. It's getting a bit of farm with the E. And LeBlanc is really even. the person you didn't want to get kills on this CJ team yeah. because you need to keep Prey high HP. He does have Spell Shield, he does have Morgana Black Shield, but you have to make sure that Prey stays alive. Because if Prey dies, GE has no damage and they just all die to Kog'Maw. So, I don't know. I think this is a very risky comp composition from GE. I think if it works, it, it looks spectacular, but... Well, some having a little bit of trouble as well here. Dodge is slow. Yeah, dodges the spear. And he's still slowed himself. He may need to flash. Nice Dodges the dodge. Aqua Prison. Wow. Smeb with the moves. Man, he is a ninja. <laughs> Smeb is such an impressive top laner these days. His yeah. ability to juke those skill shots, predict them correctly, is pretty awesome to watch. Didn't have to blow his flash right there, so he'll be feeling good. And now Gorilla will be headed up into the top lane. They may want oh. this dive. It's going to be really hard to dive him, though, when he has that flash up. Well, especially with Lee right there. Then again, if you hit him with an Aqua Prison, it's possible. Smep's still a bit low. Playing this one really risky. And no more potions either. He is almost inevitably going to die, I feel like. Well, I he just know. has to wait it out to six. He's nearly six right now. They can't dive uh, him when he has level six. That's I guess Ambition did leave, too, so it's not, be okay. Not going to be a possibility. You just get yeah. stunned under turret and die yourself, so. Yep. It's a big black shield for Kuro. And Gorilla, how long is he going to hang around in the mid lane? Looks like as long as Mad Life does. Which is oh, maybe a little bit longer. The harass, the mid scion power. All right, Kuro, now's your time to shine. Yeah. Go ult mid, go ult into top. Do it. Do it. He's going to go get a hex drinker six. first. Smeb is five. Ooh, if Smeb hits six, yeah. this is where it becomes very dangerous for CJ because they, they just can't even walk out more than likely fast enough. I wanted Kuro to get a Hex Drinker, but he bought a uh, he bought a Cowl instead. Oh well. My dreams of aggro mid Scion are over. Well, Prey is managing to farm fairly well, of course. And that 1v2. Yeah, all the lanes are pushed Ooh. up right now. There yeah. is an opportunity here for a Scion ult. Checks that space right beside the blue buff. Make sure that they've got it very well warded, though. Yeah. I mean, well, they, I mean you're going to see it. You're going to hear it coming. You're going to know exactly well, what he's too, doing. Yeah. But can you actually retreat fast enough? Is the question. Yeah. It's like a better TF because you just run where you're going. <laughs> you missed that cannon minion again. Well, he's not actually that far behind in CS. No, not surprisingly. Really. He's died once, but he's doing just fine so far. Ah, uh, black or uh, what is it? Dark binding. That's that's the one I was looking for. Misses for gorilla. Yeah. Freaky. Freaky Morgana. Yeah. You don't mind that one though. You don't tell that one to shut up. Well, it's free freaky isn't annoying. Freaky is just freaky. I often use freaky interchangeably for annoying. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> I was gonna say that's pretty weird of you to do that. So again, GE, not really looking to make plays right here. They really want to just get that AOE CC up. And it's gonna be yeah. as soon as they get all their ultimates, it'll be quite dangerous. Gorilla, still only level three though. You know, I suppose with this Scion as well, you could keep mid lane pushed and be able to get to a dragon fight extremely fast too. Yeah, you can make plays on objectives really easily. You can yeah. trade cross map if something bad happens. It's true, even though you don't really have that much damage well, it's all about the disruption, you know? Yeah. Punishing people for committing to one side of the map. Yep. It's an interesting, it's definitely an interesting ultimate. He's certainly not taking much damage, is he? Oh, Gorilla may be taking some damage, though. Wow, getting very, very low. They're going to try to go in on a space. There's the ult from Lee. He gets exhausted. Oh, Aqua Prison misses, but the teleport comes in for Shy. Oh, Ambition misses that spear, and here, here comes go. Kuro. Oh. Yep. Well, just TV enough. TV cancel. Smeb a little bit late on that teleport. Otherwise, GE may have been able to turn that around. Prey also not getting any, in any initial auto attacks. Hey, they protected Lee, and they're going to get some damage on the top turret. I guess they're going to lose a little bit of life on the mid turret, but... Well, Lee kind of went in on that one yeah. a little bit. 
and his team really wasn't there or in a position to back him up. Now LeBlanc wants to get behind this Kennen up in the top side. Uh, he's gonna pull, pull right back. Kuro not able to get down there in time with his ultimate instant reaction though from Sion to run out of mid lane. It does make yeah. it really hard to make TP plays when that Sion can get to, true. Get to late so quickly. Funny stuff, Doha. That's pretty hilarious, man. Mid Sion. Who knew? Who knew? I don't think this is going to be a thing, but I am happy that Kuro is trying something. It's a thing today. It's a thing right now. Right here, right now. Live in the moment, Monte Cristo. I'm loving this moment. Me too. So Dragon live, <laughs> Rift Scuttler up for CJ. Looks like they're not going to have the pressure to make a play with it immediately. Instead, they're just going to back off. You know, yeah. Prey actually up in terms of CS. That's a bit of a surprise. The real reason is if, if GE wins this, Curl basically guarantees himself MVP by playing Scion. And is he going to get taken out here? Shy trying to get the damage on. They get the flash. They get the stun as well. Nice knock up on to Coco, but here comes Ambition and Coco. Able to get that kill. Yeah, not just, a lot Kuro can do there. There are no wards around the mid lane for Kuro. No. So that's going to be an easy dragon for CJ. Shy did a good job of Arcane smashing him out of Sion's own stun in order to make that happen. Well, CJ should be able to pick up a pretty easy dragon. Smeb going to do more damage to that top lane turret, but yeah, the, the mid Sion, I'm, I'm not so uh, sure about this now. Well, it's not even like he's going to get unkillable in the late game. CJ has Kog'Maw, so... Oh, Coco comes in, tries to get some damage into Gorilla. And Kog'Maw with the Trinity Force and then moving into a Blade of the Ruin King is going to be quite effective, even against an Ultra Tank like Scion, where Bioarcane Barrage and the Blade going to deal that percent HP damage, so... Yeah. Now, if, if CJ had picked Corky here, it might be really problematic, but... Kuro not going to have that same advantage here. Those auto-attacking ADs will make short work of the Scion, and he has no movement abilities besides his ult to get into the back line either, so it's really, really up to Smeb to deal with the Kog'Maw. Not going to be quite so easy. Yep. Oh, Kuro. Kuro Just can't really deal any still. damage. Not really, no. Having a bit of a hard time CS CSing. He is starting to fall behind. It's pretty amazing that he's, he's you know, been able to keep up the way he has. Yeah. Firing those E's over at Coco and yeah. stunning him through the slow. Ambition here just to continue to clear out the wards, but GE really needs to get better wards around Kuro. He has not had the information he has needed in this game to play safely. They haven't been clearing very actively for him. Yeah. There's one ward that's getting eliminated now because they've got that pink. Coco doing a bit more damage to Sion. Gorilla is right there with the black shield. Yeah, so Do no, no follow-up on the chain right there. Do you think we're gonna see Smeb try to go into more of a split push later on here? I would imagine. Yeah, at least for a little bit. He really needs the Zonia's Hourglass. He couldn't get that first because he was in a, against an AP mid laner. And they have to have that to keep him alive and make sure that he deals all of the damage he possibly can because uh, this very low damage comp from GE. A little bit risky. Yep, Ward taken out by Madline. Thrown over the dragon pit. And so this game, stalling out for just a moment. Prey is getting a, a decent little CS lead over space, which is good for GE. And also surprising, uh, it has to be said. Well, we've seen what uh, Prey can do on a lot of different carries. And nice black shield from Gorilla. Oh, good poke from Prey. Oh, Here we oh. go, ults right into the mid lane. Where's he going? Up, oh, just getting back to mid lane. Oh, but he's getting oh, out to Coco. Oh, he W'd. Wow, and there's a Cataclysm. Coco could be in trouble. Passive popped, but he still might go down. No, he got out. Somehow he made it out with that distortion. Wow, Coco. Ooh, that was close. Lee ulting the wrong champion right there. That yeah. really helped out because Coco had no business kind of living through that one. If uh, uh, Coco using that W is a good setup on the play, but the wrong target picked yep. by Lee. Great juke from him, or uh, from Coco to get out of that. Yeah, very nice. Ambition getting poked pretty heavily, but he'll make it out. Kuro still with no kills. Very, very quick Banshee's Veil for him, but against a uh, LeBlanc lane, against a Twisted Fate potentially, pretty understandable. Yeah. Okay, Let's see here. So blue buff handoff. This has been really slow paced. Yeah. 
so far. Both teams, uh, GE again, they just, they need to get Infinity Edge and they need to get Azonia's Hourglass and then they're gonna be in prime position to fight right here. And CJ really wants to just take this one late. Oh, oops. Imagine how fun Scion is gonna be in Earth mode when that comes back out again. Just like ulting everywhere. Oh man, I'm I glad just it's realized going back. that. I just realized that. It's gonna be great. You know what? I never played a game of Earth mode the really? last time. Nope. It was so fun. I've never actually played any of the special modes. You... I have played zero of the special modes. Well that in my is life. very lame of you. <laughs> you you haven't experienced the pleasure of infinite bird swain. <laughs> Or the, the beauty of a nemesis draft. It's good stuff. Nope. Never. Not once in my life. Played it. Poro King or whatever the hell that was oh, called. I never played that one, yeah. No idea what that one was even about. But I'm looking forward to Earth Mode. Nemesis was great. I really miss Nemesis, actually. Well, I will play. I pledge to play Earth Mode with you. Yes. So, uh, we'll do when, it. When it comes back out. We will do it. It's going to be fun. Oh, it'll be fun to do that with Bard, too. Jeez, his <laughs> ultimate in Earth mode, that is going to be... He might get disabled. I shouldn't have said that. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Pretty sure Riot already <laughs> knows if he needs to be disabled or not. They figured that out in the last go-round. Yeah, probably. Uh, no Sona, I'm sure. She was not enabled before. How will Riot sell TJ Sona skins now? I don't know. It's a good question. Disabler. I see. I wish. I hope Bard is available for at least a day or two, so I can like magic journey around the map really, really fast. <laughs> it's like never stop going through walls. Oh, that'd be great. It will be beautiful, doll. If you take your team with you, it'll be the the infinite rotation. Oh man, you're right. No one's actually going to be able to defend against Bard. Seriously. You can just move faster than people can. Oh, Whoa! Wow. wow, look at this Scion. Well, that's why Scion actually got nerfed at 5.5 is because his E is really strong at max level. I guess so. Well, so Coco yeah. didn't build Abyssal either, so. Oh, well, they do a little bit of damage to the turret. Dragon up in 20. Yeah, if you if you have a Bard on your team in Earth mode, you can just literally invade at will and just like go anywhere, get the yes. like sickest flanks. Bard is terrifying in Earth. Why, why, why even try and get flanks when you can literally play the perfect game of League of Legends and never engage your enemy and take all their towers, though? Yeah, you could just go. It's the infinite, you could, it is the infinite rotation. Dude, it is. You could literally just go to the other side of the map, kill a turret when they try to chase you, go back to the other side, <laughs> kill the turret they left. Yep. Oh, man, we have the sickest strats now. <laughs> that sounds really fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> even I admit that would, that would be pretty fun. We're totally not going to get to play Bard nerf mode, are we? <laughs> Probably not. Well, set up uh, here. No, Coco. At the dragon. Black shield. Okay. No dragon taken. Dragon. I mean, this Banshee's Veil first. Look at that. Our observer pointing out he has 120 MR already. Yeah. Very difficult champion to deal with. This, is, this game is just really weird. I mean, more than anything. This game is probably just throwing CJ off so much. It's as hard to like, read wacky strategies on the fly, right? Yeah, I mean. And know how to adapt to them. You see it, and then it's like, all right, well, we'll just pick Kogma and just really uh, I think be CJ, safe and wait a lot. CJ is smart to do this, though. Again, that Kogma, yeah. once he gets Blade, it will be in a really good position to start dealing with Blade and, uh, and then moving into later on the Last Whisper. Just. He'll chew through this Scion. Yeah. As long as he can avoid the damage uh, from Kennen and the stun, because he can play really far back, and Kennen's probably not going to be able to Top stun turret. him without Flash. Oh. So anytime Flash is down, there should be a big team fighting advantage for CJ Antis. Turret advantage right now for the GE Tigers, getting their first one here. Dragon's still a point of contention for both of these teams. Still thinking about the infinite rotation strat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Flash, and there's the ult from Gorilla. Gets poked down really fast, so ult does manage to go off onto space, though. Will they be able to get him? Space with the kill first. Onto Gorilla, shy in the back lines after he teleports down. Prey oh, getting very, him. very low. He got him. Smeb coming in as well. And now Kuro coming down. Do they have enough? CJ with two kills. Kuro managed to get one onto Nidalee. On the run now, he flashes. Smeb still sitting back by that turret. I don't think he can quite get Shy. He can't, so it's two for three in favor of CJ. Really good teleport from Shy right there. And yeah. Coco had already started to move down into the bottom lane when that fight erupted. So Kuro was 
not having the advantage of getting to that fight really first, even though he had his ultimate Coco. Yep. He's not going to kill Smab. Smab has a bit I really doubt it, yeah. You know, and Smab, he was there for the entire team fight. He just couldn't get in there and really do damage. I mean, well, Prey, because, because Maokai got behind him, that was really the key point of that fight was the, the selection of where to TP mm. from Shy because he got onto the Sivir immediately. And again, GE cannot win team fights if Sivir dies. So that's exactly what happened. They really committed hard yeah. uh, to that engagement. But now they're going to have to give up another dragon more than likely. Well, CJ starting it right now. And I don't think GE is going to do anything about it. They can't. No, they have to have their ultimates up. They have to have that flash up on yep. the cannon. So really nothing they can do besides farm this one out. You know, Smeb does have a nice CS lead over Shy up in top lane. It's been mitigated a bit by the assist. Yeah, it's a really bad matchup for Maokai is why. Yeah. But in the end of the game, once you get into the late game, Maokai does generally do a whole lot more than Kennen. Yeah, just because if people can live through his ult, then there's not really anything he does after that. Yeah, autos once in a while. Blue buff. CJ trying to steal this one. Dark binding onto Mad Life. Here comes Shy from the side, though. Going in onto Gorilla. Ambition gets the kill there. And Lee and Kuro not really able to help out. Prey! What in the world? A double kill for Ambition. Now the tidal wave really late. Didn't even need it, I guess. No, there's nothing they can do. I mean, yeah. this is smart of CJ. Go ahead and continually scrap with them because they are so ult dependent. Well, what's Scion gonna do in the jungle too? He can't really ult anywhere. No, but he can clog a choke and use his Q. That's actually pretty good. Because you just can't get past him and then Prey could get the autos off. But we saw them, the rest of GE Tigers kind of just clearing out wards right there, thinking Prey may be able to get out with his ultimate, but got caught well, they seem really uncomfortable after Gorilla died. With their composition, you know, they don't seem to really know what to do in team fights. Well, they can't have practiced this very much. They haven't had yeah. a whole lot of time. Yeah, I almost do wonder if they meant to switch Kuro and Gorilla at the last moment and then just didn't have time. I, I don't know. Nah, no, they wanted this. They w they definitely wanted this. Did they really? Well, Did maybe, they really maybe not now, but. <laughs> It does wow. seem like a pretty deliberate strategy against LeBlanc just to prevent her from really doing much of anything. And obviously Scion can have some of these presents in these side lane team fights, but CJ's been playing really well around it. You know, we saw the first game start a lot like this though. GE found that moment. They're gonna have to find it again in game two. It's still scary. You're always going to be worried about grouping up against this Kennen. Yeah. You know, if they do catch you in your own jungle and, and GE gets the engage they want, it will be really, really powerful. Really powerful. Yeah. Kuro with the Merc Treads now. Coco coming in for a bit of damage, trying to do some on the Prey, but he gets that spell shield off. Just in time. All right. Here we go. Looks like they will take the Rift Scuttler. Uh, this is, it's all about GE just getting the, the proper engagement off. They haven't been there all as five before CJ at this game. Yeah. That last teleport from Shy was just so good. Uh, is Kuro going to ult to try to save this turret? He is. Coco coming in. Lee gets very, very low. Here comes Scion, though, dodging the turret, threading the needle. Tries to get into Coco. Can't quite make the angle. Great poke from CJ. Ooh, nice yeah. return poke there from Smeb. Well, they saved the turret for the moment anyway, but it's extremely low. Coco. Ooh, Coco looking to maybe come over the wall and finish off Gorilla, but Gorilla picking a very smart place to recall. Yeah, finding that pink ward on the other side where he knows he's yep. going to be safe, and he's not going to be able to kill Smeb. Oop. Smeb getting a little bit low. Smeb pops the ultimate. Coco just got deleted. Wow. Oh, Spear. Smeb, he can dodge skill shots pretty well. He can't do that against the Abyssal Scepter, and Smeb's full combo, considering he has that uh, magic penetration, really does do work against Coco. So Coco, even with the Ignite, not able to finish that one off. Smeb still had Zonius too, he didn't even use it. That is brave. <laughs> Was brave. He's actually gonna go back and get the Distortion. That is yep. really, really important for GE. So now it's up to them. So GE, not out of this game yet. No. Not looking great for them, but not out of this game yet. So what do they have to do to win? They have to abuse their mobility. Now they have a reduced cooldown onto their Teleport. Uh, take this one out. So Coco uh, doubled his sigil right there. Did get the chain stun off. 
but not before Spev was able to pop his E and then finish him off with an auto. Wow. I mean, essentially, Smeb started that fight at half health, and it was just that fast. Well, mid game, Kennen does do quite a large amount of damage. So yeah, anyway, GE, they will have more teleport timing windows, considering that they do have the distortion enchantment, and they have that Scion to make plays on the map. They can still fight 5v5 very well, as long as they keep Prey safe. They have to keep Prey safe, which is something they have failed to do so far with this composition. So they've got a couple, they can either abuse that mobility on the map, try and fight with a man advantage, or just place pressure in the right places, or they can get a good 5v5 off when they're all there, when they provide that huge front line for Prey. Meanwhile, CJ has a lot more ways to win, though. Yeah. They have really good siege with Kog'Maw and Nidalee. Uh, they can create picks. Uh, uh, she's going to have to play this one kind of just right. Well, they're no stranger to that, are they? Kuro actually getting an Aegis second. So no armor yet. You can see Space able to harass him pretty well. That could be a bit of a problem, lane at the too. moment. Yeah, it, it is. And uh, Space already has the blade also. This is pretty nice timing for CJ to have that blade and have no armor. Pretty yeah. much onto Kuro. Kuro not even going for the ninja tabby and said MR. I feel he's overcommitted to MR, MR with this build. Starting to look a bit like that. And that's all three outer turrets down in favor of CJ now, dragging up in 10 seconds. CJ going through and getting a lot of vision in the jungle, and GE doesn't really have any right now. Very awkward. I haven't had good wards around mid this whole game so far. Okay, this is a time for a good fight from yep. GE. Yep. Shy doing a good job of zoning against uh, Scion's possible angles of attack. Look, look, it looks like it's going to be a dragon for CJ. They're just going to go for the mid lane and trade. CJ coming in from behind, though. Can they fight this? Shy gets stunned. Damage coming through. Spear doesn't hit anybody. Coco trying to get into the back lines. Doesn't find a way to do that safely. Just no damage on Kuro from that spear. Nope. At all. That was like max range, too. <laughs> All right, they're trying to siege right here. Yeah. They want to pressure out CJ before they can get in a position to defend. This is a good siege attempt, actually, from GE so far, splitting up a little bit. It's going to be hard for Prey to... They can't really siege. Prey is too short range. Yeah, I mean, you could theoretically throw long-range things with Scion and Kennen, but it's not ideal. Ooh, Lee taking some non-ideal damage there, but look at the return damage from Smeb. I think Lee, wow. or I think Smeb might just go for a Void Staff next and try and just blow up Coco every fight if he can. Maybe. Oh, they're gonna try. Kuro in position to run down this. Oh, Shy goes into the back lines onto Lee now. Prey firing damage over the wall, Bye, and Smeb gets in the back lines, evaporates Coco yet again. Gorilla in a little bit of trouble, it's okay. Kuro gets a knockup, that's a double kill now though for Space. They're gonna come over the wall and try to deal with him. He escapes. Meanwhile, a double kill for Prey. Shy on the run. Smeb pops his own. He has flashes over the wall. Ambition in a little bit of trouble. And that's another kill for Smeb. GE winning a really good team fight. And that is the fight they wanted. Smeb oh, yeah. killed Coco instantly, so there was no more threat on to Prey and opened up the possibility for Prey just to ult and run in, get a bunch of autos off for free. Yeah. He got so many autos this. over the wall. So Smeb goes in, and he cuts off everybody from the left-hand side. Prey just having a field day autoing over. Uh, actually, Cataclysm failed to activate right there, which would have made it even better, actually, for GE, because they would have blocked off another choke point. Uh, Gorilla does a good job with Kuro of taking down space there on the side. Now, watch this double flash, though. So prepared. Boop, right over this top. Save Smeb. Smeb holding that Zonia's till the last possible second, totally baiting Ambition in there to sticking around. It it blows my mind how when it comes oh down my. to it, GE can has play a, things like this has so a, well. He has a banner of command. Really? <laughs> he does. Wow. Is this is it? Uh, are we going Zarat's portal next? Is is this what's going on now? Okay. This is so. This is getting wacky, though. Banner of Command. You can promote a minion with that one, I believe. Yeah. Right? That's the one that promote the promotes summoners. cannons. Yep. Yeah, the uh, the summoner spell move, too. Well, that gives them more siege. It's a very thematically uh, fitting item build for a Kuro He as can well, too. split push with the, the Scion ultimate. Yeah, he can. I, I don't 
I don't really know what to think of this. That's what that Aegis was building into. I. Oh, he just uh, buffed that cannon minion. It's huge. Wow, this is wild. What a wild game. I haven't seen that item in forever. Look how fast they're taking down the turrets. Holy oh. cow. Wow, Banner of Command is pretty good. That cannon minion, look at how slow it's dying. Yeah, it's a, if this is a really powerful item if you can use it. And yeah, are, the next question is, are they going to get Zerat's portal and go for full siege here? Wow. There's also It also opens up the possibility of using Elixir of Ruin. Yeah. For some more tower damage. And even though they only have one dragon, and this is actually scary, Doa, because what happens when they get their second dragon and they get tower damage? Oh, man. This is clearly a very well thought out plan by GE Tigers. They know exactly what they're doing with this. I don't know if they're if it's a well thought out plan or just rolling the dice. It's actually really hard to tell it right now. It looks like it's well thought I out. I hope it is. It looks like it is. <laughs> we'll assume it is. Kennen kills another turret in bot lane. It's four to three now, going from three to one to four to three. Yeah, the other thing that that banner does is it gives every, of course it builds out the Aegis, so you do get that MR for everyone as well. Yeah. Wow, Sion this really is... really being the commanding general of this game. Yeah, you can only use it once every two minutes, though. It's not so bad. I really hope he gets Zerat's portal next. Does Zerat's portal build out of a ruby crystal? I have no idea. No, it builds out of a chain vest and... Like, oh, yeah, and the raptor cloak, right? Yeah, yeah that's cloak. right, that's right. Or the raptor cloak and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Rap oh, something. Raptor cloak and the... Uh, When's the last the time Negatron, you built a Zerat's portal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I, I really, really hope that's the case. Me too, me too. <laughs> this is very, very cool stuff. I like GE's creativity. I mean, you gotta give it to them. They came out and are definitely showing us different stuff today than we've seen with the, from them in the past. Oh, what a statement after, uh, you know, what happened at IEM. These guys are coming back and showing, hey, we're just as good as ever. And on top of that, we've got new stuff nobody has ever seen before. <laughs> no one knows how to play against. No one has ever comprehended before. Wow. Yeah. Not since the uh, GSG jungle Heimerdinger has there been. A crazy strat come out in a game of Korean League of Legends at the pro level. All right, well, CJ starting to group, wants to take these. Yeah. This blue buff does end up snagging it in the end. Wants to take Not the like the blue too. buff denial really affects GE Tigers very heavily. Now, no wards, though, really, GE's, from CJ. GE still does need um, two dragons, I believe, before they get the turret damage. One. It's the second one. Yeah, that's right. And no Zerat's portal yet for Kuro. He's going for the Glacial Shroud. Looks like it's going to be a Frozen Heart, perhaps. Or, you know, maybe a Iceborne Gauntlet, too, I suppose. Yeah, it's gonna, probably going to be Frozen Heart, especially against Kog'Maw, who's depended huh. on his attack speed to deal damage for percent HP. Shy, Shy coming in. Shy has Frozen Heart already. Yeah, that's he does. really, really important to deal with this Sivir right now, because yeah. it is the pretty much the only source of consistent damage. Well, GE activates this crucial dragon. They could get something they really want out of it. Smeb in a little oh, bit oh, of trouble. Oh, really hard. It still looks like he's got full health for now. Dragon a little bit low. Shy stopped up. There's the Scion ultimate. They're going to turn away from Dragon, actually. Tidal Wave comes through. Lee getting very, very low. Shy getting low as well. Mad Life in trouble space. Trying desperately to kite away. Prey with a kill right there. Kuro hit with the Aqua Prison. Meanwhile, in the back line's a kill for Ambition. On to Smeb. Make it another one for Prey as well. GE turns onto this Dragon. It reset a little bit. But it looks like they might get it getting low. They do. Lee manages to smite it away. And now the disengage. Lee might have to give up his life for this one. But oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Where is maybe, Space going? Space has no yes. mana. Space has no mana, mana, mana. Ah. Well, ah. Kuro ah. could have oh. probably recalled there. But oh. Mad Life needs to get that Aqua Prison. Gets his ult. There's the Black Icon's Shield, blessing. though. Yep. Ambition comes in. Gets a kill onto Lee. Kuro on the run. Oh, oh. the spear doesn't quite do it. Kuro's like, ah, I'm just going to go into the jungle and pout. <laughs> Rated relatively even. <laughs> oh, tries to get crop kick. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. He Kuro. helped Prey farm. Well, they got that second drag. And so they've got that. Look at that. He actually managed to banner of command a minion during that fight. This is such what? a weird game of like split pushing. Wow. So watch this. It's a weird fight, too. So coming in right here, Kuro right in the front line, tries to get some good zone out. Smeb gets in. 
and Coco Ambition get out. So they focus down shy, correct call, Prey standing behind his front line. I really think right here that Prey should have gone on to space instead, uh, instead of following up into the top side to attempt to save Smeb. Smeb was already blocking off that choke point, and so could have had a chance to just take down space immediately there behind his front line. So I think Prey could have made a little bit better target selection right there, and maybe turned See, that fight a little better. But they still got the dragon. They did, yeah, that's true. They're still down in gold, but they're up in turrets, and they're up in weirdness. So another promoted minion on the map right now in the mid lane. Not anymore. It was there. Or where oh, is it? Maybe he promoted it in the base. Let's check the side lanes, actually. Uh, it could be bottom. Oh, did... Okay. He could have just promoted it as it was coming out of the Nexus. I'm not sure. It's just on cooldown. Okay. So this may be a... Yeah, yeah, it's down on the bottom. They're pinging it right now. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, this is the craziest. <laughs> <laughs> I think I it's actually it. in the bottom lane. It's like a bizarre one-three-one where one of the ones I is a promoted it. minion. This yeah. is... I'm just having a field day, though, because this is what I love to see is this really strong map play. It's my favorite part of League of Legends. Oh, I know. And all we need now is this oh, Ross portal. It wasn't we there. If it was there, it died. Okay, oh. now I'm sad. It wouldn't have died that fast. Yeah, I don't think it was. Not a lot of vision for the GE Tigers as they clear out the uh, Baron. There we go, Ward now in there from Gorilla. Coco not going to be able to do any damage to Kuro at this point. Sorry. He's almost got that uh, gla uh, that uh, frozen heart. That's going to be huge. The interesting thing is that the later this game goes, the more cannon minions spawn. Uh, yeah, it's one of the true. changes in season five. So you actually have have an interesting way to close out this game. It doesn't necessarily mean more promoted minions, though, because you've still got the same right. cooldown for Banner Command, but right? But you always have an option to promote a minion, as opposed to having okay. to wait for every three waves, right? That's true. It sure. gives you more flexibility about when and how you use it, which is cool. Kuro getting really big right now. Still no Frozen Heart yet. That is super important against the Kog'Maw, especially now that the Blast Whisper is up. Yeah. Well, Smep going ahead and split pushing. He's going to clear out this massive wave in bot right now. Getting closer to that Void Staff. Yep. To decide to go for the uh, Death Cap. Has this other item. Well, it's going to be a lot more damage. <laughs> it's mid Scion. <laughs> it's great. I still don't think this is going to work in the end. I think the longer this goes, the more hope dwindles for the GE Tigers. But you know what? I thought that last game too, Doa. If anyone can make it work, apparently GE Tigers is the team. How do you feel if you lose to this if you're CJ, though? I think it's time to retire. I don't know. <laughs> well, I am shameful. I think the shame will be intense. The Baron is in temps, and CJ is killing this so fast, too. Teleport TV, coming TV. in. Smeb coming from behind. Can they do it? Scion comes through. Oh. Nearly gets in on Coco. Smeb in the middle of everybody. Baron and he gets the Baron. It. He got the Baron. Ambition locked up in the back lines. Now CJ on the run. A double kill for Smeb. Kuro manages to uh, get one as well onto Ambition. Only Coco and Madlife left. They're on their run. That was not a good Baron plan. Lee in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Slam dunks Mad Life. <laughs> oh man, Coco. Lee just wants to die to Coco really badly right now. Apparently, you know he's distracting him as his team runs and takes out more turrets, though. So it, it right. does it's help. It's time for promote. It yes. does help. Yes, promote and Baron. Wow, Bob. that is the biggest this cannon meeting I have ever seen. This Look at how fast the turret died. This is the dream, Dilla. I, will they be able to close? I don't think so, but they'll get it in him for sure. No, getting epic duel between Ali and Coco. We kept him from recalling for a long time. This inhibitor dying so fast. Coco recalls. They'll get the inhibitor. They've got the Baron. Cannon minion. He's so big. I don't know. I'm going to. Wow. I feel like we should name it. CJ, he just had to hold out, man. Oh. And you can't do a Baron with a cannon in the game, even through wow. the exhaust. Just the immense amount of damage taken. Also, Smep able to burst it down, totally clogging the choke. Look at Prey. Just auto attack everybody forever. There yeah. is literally no threat on him right now. Easy With life. that shred from Baron, Kennen is one of the most dangerous champions to try and sneak a Baron against. Smep had the perfect angle for the teleport right there. So, can we say that uh, AoE finally stole Baron? <laughs> that, that happened? Sunfire stole Baron, guys. Yay. And it's by not, Sunfire, it's not fine, I fire. mean Slicing Maelstrom. Yep, Cannon Ultimate. But AoE did steal a Baron.
it happened. I feel vindicated. After two years, we're finally <laughs> we're finally vindicated. Wow, and then the just incredibly awesome use of banner command. Yeah. That is crazy amounts of damage when that minion it has a Baron buff as well. No kidding. Uh, Dragon up now as well too, and GE Tiger is going to get that without any issue at all. That's Dragon number three now for them. They're going to tie CJ Antis with it. And CJ just has to feel so frustrated right now. That's another promoted Baron Cannon minion. It's actually bigger than Sivir. <laughs> that is huge. I love they were it, never meant to be I that big. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this game is actually happening right now. And they're going towards this tier two down in bot. Girl checks the swing a little bit early. Wow, holy cow, the chunks. The chunks. You can't kill it either. This is nope. so annoying. And what, well, yeah. what do they do? Look you know what's this. brilliant about this? CJ's running a poke. He's got pop. another one. There's two promoted. Baron powered cannon minions. Scion comes through, doesn't hit anybody. So what's so brilliant about this is how how do you deal with it? Because if you, you cannot engage on GE where you get hit by Kenneth, there's literally nothing that CJ can do to I, stop this as long as Baron's on. I don't know what's going on. What reality is this? Shy coming in. They get Lee. He gets very low. Tidal Wave comes through. Mad Life. Nice kill steal with Tidal Wave. That's All right, the Baron no longer up, so. G may have overpushed that as the, uh -oh. the, the, the yeah. minions went back into the melee mode. That's a bit dangerous. They still have Slicing Maelstrom, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good good poise getting out of there. So, yeah, as long as the Baron is up and those minions are ranged, it forces CJ to actually commit to a fight. Yeah. Because they have no other way to walk up and actually clear those minions out of the back line. Oh, Kuro has Thorn Mail, by the way, now. Good luck. Good luck, Space. Yeah, actually, no thorn mail. Ooh, I think Shy should have built thorn mail instead of this Randuin's. I think that's really bad, actually, because he needs to realize that Prey is the one who's dealing most of the damage, and True. it's very important for Prey to get low enough so that maybe Coco has a chance to blow him up because he doesn't have a Banshee's Veil yet, and he has been very squishy up until this point in time. Wow. I'm, I'm, if this works, if this actually wins the game, I'm so afraid to play solo queue in Korea now. <laughs> well, this is not exactly a good solo queue, uh, little solo no, queue strategy, but no, but man, I'm just afraid of my waiting, teammates trying this it. This is, this is my dream though. I've been waiting for years for Banner of Command to be used effectively. How long has Banner of Command been around? Like forever. It's been around forever. It's been around for years. It's <laughs> true, but we used to have promote the summoner spell. I know. I, I like that one, too. It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. It exists in our hearts. Revive's out of the game now, too. Revive is dead. Well, now I can never get to see Revive, Teleport, Banner, Command usage. Oh. All right, here they come again. Two more promoted minions rolling in. <laughs> no Baron power this time, but that turret's still in big trouble. We'll see what they can do. Look, they take so long to die. Wow. Yeah, and that's buying Jeez. time. Their Nexus turrets are under threat from the Super Minions at the moment. Yeah. That inhibitor's got to be coming up again pretty soon, though. Uh, yeah, like, very soon, actually. I wonder why GE decided... Because, you know, one thing you could do right here is you could actually just go have Scion into one of... Have him go into the Super Minion lanes, promote something there to make it do even more yep. damage, and then just ult over... Can you promote the super minions or only the cannon minions? Only cannon. That's right. what I thought. But still, that with the super minions, it's like a, well, there's three a can super minions. Yeah, there's a cannon minion every wave, though. Yeah. Well, looks like the inhibitor is coming back up, so CJ has bought themselves some time here as we look at another Baron in a minute. Yeah, I got a feeling CJ is not going to go for that with Kennen with the ability to flank him, flank them. That sentence didn't work, but you get the idea. Kennen. By Baron. Bad. Yeah, they have two banners. That's why this is working. So Morgana has a banner. Oh, too. yeah, you're right. That's why they were having two two on every wave. I was wondering about that, yeah. Okay. This is a two minute cooldown. Yeah. So. Man. This is the dream. This is the dream, though. Double banner of command game. You're so happy. I am so happy. Perma smile on Monte Cristo right now. <laughs> Promoted minions. Well, Baron in 30. Uh, there is that uh, fourth dragon option for the GE Tigers as well. Also fourth dragon for CJ, to be fair. I think Kuro should build. I don't think he should build Tankier anymore. I think he should build Hydra. 
Okay. He's tanky yeah. enough. I, I don't think he needs a Sunfire or Rando and Zomin or whatever the hell he's trying to buy right now. I think he just needs to deal some damage. I think Sunfire Cape is fun. Funfire Cape? Funfire Cape, it's true. It's building a Funfire Cape. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to do on my tank supports. Build myself a fun fire cape. Although now I can just build the item Ooh. that leads up to it for AoE. That Leandris is going to be really good on Kennen. That's yeah. exactly what they need right now to help deal with Shy. Okay, Giant Morgana with Banner of Command. Wow. They're trying to bait this Baron out right now. Morgzilla. Lee took a good chunk of damage right there. Yeah. It's still risky Baron for uh, Gorillas, or for GE as well. It's risky for Gorilla, because Kuro's coming over the wall trying to... Here we go! Or Coco, rather. You know, it's crazy, too, because you get two cannon minions for wave late in the game, so you yeah. can get it on both. Yeah. Bye. Well, that inhibitor's not going to survive long. There it goes. Can CJ win a fight here, though? So Shy, he's going to come in right onto Kuro here. Twist advance, tidal wave comes through, gets a lot of knockups. Where's Space? Where's Prey? He's getting into the back lines. They're doing a lot of damage to Shy. Prey very safe. Gorilla comes in, and here comes Cannon! Cannon! is making things happen. Kuro trying to do something himself in the back lanes, but Lee all over him oh, yet again. Bind. That dark binding locks him up. Can Smeb come in and finish him off? He can. And that may be about it. Prey untouched in this fight. Monty pumping his fists <laughs> in celebration that two Banner of Commands have been used in this match right now. And that will give GE Tigers with mid scion and two banner of commands they will kill the nexus at 45 minutes that's a 2-0 gg i mean that's gonna be it right after they kill there we go gg G -E tigers coming back on fire from iem these I guys i am so happy right now i well love seeing some more of wow. these unorthodox strategies they really knew <laughs> what they were doing they played it out extremely nicely considering the very specific circumstances that they had to win that game. What a wild one that was from the GE nuts. Tigers. CJ looking pretty damn sad. Well, yeah, Coco's like, yep, I just got beat by a mid-Scion. And he built Banner of Command. It, when you look at that, it feels like a troll game, but it's actually brilliant. The GE Tigers are brilliant. I don't know why they, they didn't made win it work. IEM, I mean, even though they didn't have good pressure on mid lane early, Coco. Yeah got a couple of kills onto Kuro. They played so well around the double banner as a team. I mean, honestly, CJ did throw a little bit at the Baron pit. Yeah. They probably shouldn't have tried to get that Baron. That it did accelerate their demise right there. It's a rough, it was a rough Baron they, call. They seemed 